All right, guys, so we are going to explain you how to take uh, orthodontic pictures, which is very, very important. If you ever worked with me before, you know I'm very, very specific about this. So thank you, Melina, for letting us take these pictures on you, and I'm going to show you guys right away, okay? So you won't be able to see this, but there's basically two settings on the camera that we use. One is A or automatic, or just has like a green symbol over it, and the other one is M for manual, or we sometimes call it mouth. So those are the two um, settings that we use, okay? So I'm going to turn everything on. That's step number one. <laughs> and then we're going to take things out. So the two, I guess the three kind of tools that we're going to be using are these cheek retractors. This is going to go for the front of the mouth and the sides of the mouth. And then we're going to use this guy along with the mirror for the tops and the bottoms. Okay. So. I like to always have a specific order. I start with all the face or the front teeth or the front picture ones and then the side ones. But first, before you do anything, we don't have her information pulled up, obviously because she's not a patient, but if she was, I would take a picture of her name first. That's step number one, okay? Because we're gonna have a lot of patients and so the stuff gets kind of mixed up. If you take a picture of their name first, then this piece is more organized. So I'd go click, click, take a picture of her name and then we start using these guys. So, um, yeah, whenever you're doing this, it's always weird at the start, but I like to talk to the patients through everything I'm doing. That includes taking pictures, if I was gonna take x-rays, if I'm gonna bond, band, I talk through everything. So the first thing is, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna put these inside your mouth, and we're gonna spread them like this, okay? So I'll be open just a little bit. I'm gonna have you tilt your head back just a little bit. And one thing before I put them in there, you're gonna notice, I'm gonna take a step back with my, my mask, you're gonna notice patients, whenever they're doing this, they wanna go like, ah, like crazy wide. <laughs> and that sucks, that's not good for us because everything's super, super tight. So most of the time they go like, ah, and then I'll say, okay, that's cool, but just eh, close it down just a little bit and it makes life a lot easier. Um, so that's one of the tricks, tricks right off the bat. Have you open up a little bit again, cool beans, cool beans, and then I'm gonna have you bite down, okay? This is also important because, I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna do it again. <laughs> Because when people bite down, when patients bite down, they tend to bite down like this. They want to touch, everybody wants to touch their front teeth for some reason, I don't know why. But you have to make sure that they're biting down normally. And how we know that is probably 95% of the time, if they're biting down normally, their back teeth are going to touch. So if they're biting like this, their back teeth don't touch. But if they're biting normally, their back teeth touch. That's important because we don't want pictures where their bite's off, that defeats the whole purpose of this. So, try this again, you open up a little bit, cool, cool, and then I bite down, perfect. And then when it's looking good, I'm going to have the patient uh, grab both sides of this, and then whenever they do, I say, hey, pull out like this, because that's the easiest way to do it. Then I'm going to go do M function, mouth function, manual function, whatever you want to say, but it's M function. I'm going to turn on the flash, and then I want to be maybe like a foot and a half-ish, away from the patient and that just for us gets the best distance gets the best pictures everything turns out the best so I'm going to start off by doing that so the first thing is most patients Melina's done this before so she knows what's going on but most patients won't start by looking at you most of them will start looking forward so let's say pretend like you're looking forward and then if I'm trying to take a picture which I see 80% of the dental assistants trying to do this Instead of turning the patient, they'll try to take the picture. So they're literally like going like this, trying to take a picture. That's no good, we don't want that. We want you to turn the patient towards you to make your life a lot easier, to make the pictures better, and to make it less awkward. So that's how we do it. So I'm gonna have you turn towards me a little bit. Now she's looking directly at me. This is really important. So if I'm taking a picture onto the side, your pictures are gonna turn out bad. You want to make sure that you're directly in line with them every time. If she, so say I take the picture, I'm like this, okay, everything looks pretty good. That turns out to be a good picture. Um, if she is turning her head down, I can either push her head back up or I can go down and take the picture from here too. I want to look at the plane of her teeth. And this is always hard for me to explain to people. But the plane of her occlusion is basically how her head is tilted. So if her head is tilted down, her plane of occlusion is going to be down. 
That means I need to get the camera down. Tilt your head up from it. So she, and tilt it up a little bit more. So she tilt it up. That means I have to also be up. Or you can have them move their face. But you always want to be on the same plane, the same plane of occlusion as the patient. Okay, so we've taken the front picture. Remember, we are on setting M, which I wasn't, I was on the other setting, but now we're on M. <laughs> and now we're gonna take the side pictures, okay? So same thing, she's really easy to take these on because she's done this before. If they weren't good, I'd say keep holding this one and I'm gonna grab this one, okay, so I can grab it. So that's what I'd do, and I'd say, hey, you can loosen the left side a little bit, I'm gonna grab the right side. And then I'd do the same thing, take the picture, get in there, everything's looking good. You can probably hear that, I'm not sure if you can hear that, you can grab it again. Um, when I push down halfway on these cameras, you can hear it click, and that just means everything's in focus, you are good to go. Okay, so if you hear that half click, and you're focusing on the teeth, you're probably good to go. We have the same concept here though with her plane of occlusion, and this is also important because people are doing this wrong all the time. So if she, so right now she's looking forward, so that's good. If she were to, let's see, tilt her head up, then I would have to turn the camera in the same way that her head is tilted, the same way her plane of occlusion is. If she tilted down, if she tilted down, I would need to do the same thing. We just want to follow what her mouth does. If you do that, your pictures are going to come out great, okay? So I took a picture of this side, just for convenience sake with camera, I'm not going to do it, but I take a picture of this side as well. So we have our three kind of straight on pictures that we've used with this guy. So we are done, I'll take this out, she's doing great. Now we have to get the top and bottom pictures. Now I'd say most people think that this is the toughest picture to get, just because you have to use a mirror. So, we have this other instrument that's going to help take away the lips, and then we have our mirror. And I always explain to the patients, like I said before, exactly what's going on. So I would tell her, hey, we're going to put this mirror in your mouth, we're going to put this thing in there as well. We either have them hold their breath, or we have them just breathe through their nose. And the reason is because it'll just fog up the, the mirror, so that's why. So if I think it's going to be quick, I'll just say, hey, hold your breath, I'll tell you when. It takes like two seconds, and that's easy. Um, some people like them to have breathe through their nose. So, on the top, it's going to go like this. On the bottom, it's going to go like this. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the top. And then I tell them with their left hand to grab the tip just like this. And so they're going to be pulling up on their lips. And a lot of times, obviously, like I said, Melina has done this before. A lot of times they don't really know what's going on. So I'll guide their hand and let them know how to do this. And here we go. Here's another example of Melina's looking kind of straight on-ish. So if I were to do this and I didn't do anything, I didn't tell her to move her face, I would have to go again like this and try to take the picture, because remember, we always want to be straight on with the patient. But I don't do that, because I think it's awkward. So I'm going to have Melina move a little bit to my side. And you can, talk, like, you can just guide their face a little bit, because they don't know what's going on, you know what's going on, so you can help them all along a little bit. So now that I'm looking directly on, I'm going to say, hey, open big, and hold your breath. Now go, and then boom, take the picture. So the couple keys with this is when you're putting in the mirror, you have to be straight on. You can't be tilted to the left and the right because those pictures turn out terrible. She's doing a great job of keeping her lips away. That's also something that's a little bit important. And then also when you're putting the, the uh, mirror in there, you want to make sure the back portion of it basically hits their teeth. If you go too shallow, the pictures come out really shallow. If you go in the perfect area and you make it touch the back of the teeth, everything looks good, okay? So now take this out. Boom, we go like this. Same thing on the bottom, I have you grab this one. And then for the bottom ones, I always have them tilt their head back a little bit. And then same thing, I have you look towards me, and then tilt your head back even more. Boom, go in there, straight on, it's touching her teeth. Boom, we take the picture, and it looks great because it's gonna look very vertical. It's gonna look like it's coming straight down on the teeth. So some, for some reason, people think that's really tough, but those are the main pictures. Now we have three last ones, which are super, super easy. So, I will have you, maybe sit on that side. And now we are going to turn it, so you can come in. So now we're going to turn it to the automatic function, or the green function, or the A function, to do all the facial pictures. 
So we'll take one picture, and this is a good example. She has this picture frame in the back. We don't want that. We want this very, very plain. So I'll have her take a couple steps to the left. And that's, eh, maybe it's a little more. And that's good. So we just want it nice and plain. So I'll take one picture of her just standing just like this, nice and relaxed. That's good. We'll take one more smile and show some, we want them to show teeth because they don't want to smile. Like this, we want them to smile nice and big and show some teeth. Perfect. And then one to the side. And this one's a nice and relaxed one. And there you go, that is taking pictures. So we took five pictures inside the mouth, we took three pictures outside the mouth, and now we're gonna show you how to enter them into the template so you can finalize this project. All right guys and gals, so there you have it, that is it. Now you know how to take amazing, amazing orthodontic pictures. I thought I'd just cut it off here because these next videos are gonna start to get a little bit long. Uh, so that is it, that is it for video number two. And I will see you in video number three where we go over how to put these pictures into the computer and exactly where we want them.